ready Cause this ain't funny My name, fame is Ian I'm about to make money Good morning Good morning We're on the road, on the road again Um, It is, what is it? It's Friday and there's like a million yard sales and estate sales listed so we're gonna try to hit a few um, but I really like I don't need anything my pile is really big and I uh, should be working on that but instead we're out here <laughs> I actually got a text from the lady that sold me the uh, Desert Fox set and a Guns and Never Own set by Marks uh, recently and she said she's having a big toy sale today so we're gonna go to that one for sure and right now we're trying to find a moving sale that we saw a sign for uh, but we had to do something else first so we're going we're backtracking trying to find it so anyway We'll keep you posted. Uh, maybe today's the day we're gonna find something really good. I hope so. Okay, first sale was at a, it's a moving sale and there's absolutely no signal. So I gambled two dollars on this guy. There's a charging base, but it's a cordless uh, straightener, which obviously I don't need. But uh, the brand is Martino and it's in really nice shape, has a carrying case, has the charger lit up when we plugged it in. So gambled two dollars on that. We'll see what happens. Got this for my hero because Marty Moose is always good. And a set of, oh, these are Oneida Craft. It's not the Arbor Rose, it's something else, but. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to think. I know I recognize that, but um, this was just $3 for all of that. So, good gamble, I think. Good start to the day. Uh, now we're heading to the toy sale to uh, see that gal. And hope, I'm hoping that she has some, uh, Johnny West, because she told me that she had it somewhere and she was going to start pulling it out. So I'm hoping that's why she sent me the text so I can come and get the Johnny West. So I'll let you know. the toy sale was a bust. Total bust. I'm really not sure how I got such a good deal on my Desert Fox because everything there was just priced really high but she did remember me and she said she did not have any Johnny West out today but she would shoot me a text or call me when she finds it it's in her off-site storage so I'm still optimistic about that but we didn't buy anything there today uh, but went to another yard sale and um, just to show you it never hurts to ask I asked if they had any flatware for sale and she said why well, yes I do and we have this very cool mid-century pattern and this is uh I can't see <laughs> let me look um darn there's another one that I looked at that I did see it okay it is a stainless imperial USA which I've sold that brand before but these are really in very very nice shape she said those this was her fancy set so she took good care of it two serving spoons too and that was ten dollars and then we also did get a tea set with you can see the cat here a square teapot and there's one coffee mug with a lid as well uh, the comp looks pretty good the comps looked pretty good uh, and this set was ten dollars as well so yay. 
Okay. It's Hughes and Brews. Hughes and Brews. It's the cats. one cup that has the sticker on it. Okay. Very, very cute pattern though. So I'm excited to see what I can do with that. On to the next one. stuff. Land's End Reversible Goose Down Vest and Land's End Reversible Goose Down Hunting Coat. Two of these cool masks that we're not sure about. Oh, the coats were five each. These were a dollar each. They have a tag inside. Yeah. Show me the front. Yeah. Chamber candle and a brand new Monopoly game. This was a dollar, right? Yeah. 50 cents for the candle holder. 50 cents on this. Okay. The puzzle. Are you holding enough? Because, you know, I'm not holding anything. Okay, I got, I got. <laughs> found a surprise estate sale. See what we kind of damage we can do here. All right. That was pretty good and it was fun. Um, I had a lot of sentimental pricing, but I did get some good deals on some things. This is a really heavy cast iron door stopper. Five bucks. No brand, but. There was also no signal, so I'm taking a risk on all of these things. This is a Givenchy bath powder. It is used, and there's a sold comp for a brand new one for $200. So I kind of figure I can get something for this. The powder puff is still in there. I'm not going to open it because powder, powder. Powder. This little. You could brush the powder off with that. Table butler. Very cute, very cute. I was looked for the crumb tray, but I didn't find it, but he was 50 cents. And these were 50 cents. I suspect them to be Fenton hobnail. Very cute, but for 50 cents, gotta give it a shot, right? Yep. Let's not let those rattle against each other. And then a four cup Pyrex with the big E, made in France, borosilicate glass. Uh, how much was that? Dollar. A dollar. A dollar. Okay, oh, and Jonathan got a new plug. He's very excited about Yay. it. Yep, yep. It's a look, show it to him. That's for you. <laughs> yep. For me, what do I need to plug all that stuff in? Oh, in my office? Yeah. Oh, great. I got a new plug. <laughs> we'll see you at the next day. Um, Action! <laughs> okay. All right. The um, so you saw it in the footage that we went to an antique sale and it was actually at a church, and um, I found some really cute things. There were great people. Some of those prices were sky high, but I was able to get a few things that I could resell. Uh, this right here, look how cute! It's a it's a flask by Limoges. It's got Napoleon on the front. Napoleon little cork stopper with his hat. Uh, this was just $5. I think I'll do okay on that one. You know, I love a Limoges. Uh, let's see, this one, it's, so it's an hourglass. And we thought it was so cute that the lady wrote on there, what's it say? Best guess, 46 minutes. So it's just a 46 minute clock is what this is. And I just love that it was two colors. And then when I did a Google image of it, somebody else sold one exactly like it. And they said that it was Murano. So I'm not quite sure how to figure out if it is or not. Um, I mean, you can't just trust somebody else's information just because they said, but 
we'll see. But and it was just $2, so who could pass that up anyway? It's so cute. All right, next up here, this is a little celluloid razor set. There's the razor, you pull it out, you put this on there, which is what holds the blade. I just love that it was in the case and it's complete. I paid $7 for this one. And then from the same lady, one of these sweet little, it's a ring, ring box and it still has the original advertising back there. And on the back, it has a little stand. So you can, look, you can set it up, your display and your ring, so cute. But I found one of those uh, recently and it was only a dollar, but the little lace edge on it was broken, so I left it behind. But this one I picked up for $3 and I think I can maybe get like 50 bucks for it. So that was nice to kind of make up for the one that I missed out on. So uh, let's see, we have two Rolex spoons, which I actually sold uh, one of these before. They're from Lucerne, Switzerland, which is also where Jonathan's mom is from. So hey guys, Switzerland. Uh, I figured I'd give these a try. They were just 50 cents each, so I'm a dollar in on these spoons. I think the last one sold for like $30, so we'll see. But I mean, it could have been a different style or something too, but I figured for a dollar gamble, I'll grab them. Uh, this little bag for just $2, it has stamped metal boot tips, which I'd never seen before. Let me just open the bag. Please do. <laughs> it's not translating on film. Okay, and then they're in another bag. But there's a pair for um, like almond toe cowboy boots. And then there's a pointier pair. Look at that. You don't get on the wrong end of that. And then also in here was a pair of collar tips. And so just $2 for the three sets. Again, why not risk it for that? I thought those were really neat. Uh, let's see, this guy here, <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but he was, pretty darn cool. He was a dollar. He has a dog with him. He is missing. He's supposed to be holding a rabbit in his hand here from yeah. what I could tell on the, well, he's a hunter. He has his gun there. Uh -huh. He's a dachshund. Uh -huh. um, I saw some really good comps, but it depends on the brand. And this guy has no sticker on the bottom, but for a dollar, again, let's, let's just figure it out and we'll see what we can get for him. Jonathan picked this one. <laughs> this is a cool ornament. It's very intricately beaded. I don't know why. He liked it. It was a dollar. We got it. Enough said. <laughs> okay. And the, my favorite thing that we got was Tiffany & Co. This is what it says right on the bottom. Tiffany & Co. Fine Bone China. Made in Japan. And it's um, designed to be their paper cup. There's even a seam on the back. So cute. Uh, these go for quite a bit. And this one's in really, really nice shape. Um, darn there might be a tiniest little chip on the world right there, but um, I'm still gonna give it a go. It was five dollars, just like it says on there. So that's it for this weekend. Um, storms are rolling in, so I'm kind of hoping for a good gray day tomorrow. I can get a bunch of work done. Um, oh, and also on the way home, we stopped at a car show. I'll put up a little footage here so you can see. But thanks for joining us this weekend. Uh, we didn't find a ton of stuff, but we found some good stuff, and that's what matters, right? Yes, and we had fun too. Yeah, we had a good time. So I hope you had fun out there too. Thanks for watching.